Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to install Docker Engine for Ubuntu, specifically the Jammy Jellyfish version. Docker is a platform designed to help developers build, share, and run container applications. Containerized applications have become more popular in recent times, with companies such as Spotify, Pinterest, and Udemy utilizing Docker for their applications. Let us first navigate to the Docker website and review the installation process. Here we have prerequisites in order to install a Docker Engine. We see the OS requirements and Ubuntu Jamie Jellyfish is one of them. And then we also see chip architectures that Docker Engine is compatible with. I'll review how to check these by bringing up the terminal. What I'm going to do first is check my version of Ubuntu. You could do this by typing in cat etsy os release. And we can see that we have Jamie Jellyfish installed. Next, I am going to check out our chip architecture for my computer. I am going to type ls cpu, and I am going to grep for the architecture. We can see we have x86-64, which is compatible. Let's go back to the Docker website, and we are going to review the installation process. We'll run the commands here. First, we are going to set up Docker's apt repository. Going back to my terminal, I am going to chain all of these with the AND operator. Once we've done that, let's go back to the website. And here we are going to add the repository to apt resources, and I am going to copy this code and paste it into my terminal. Going back to the website, I have this code block that is going to install Docker itself. Let's copy the code and bring it back. We can hit capital Y to continue. Depending on your internet connection, this could take a few minutes to run. And I am going to check that Docker is installed by running docker dash dash version. And we can see our current Docker version here. What I have to do before I can actually run any Docker images within a container is we need to add a user to the Docker group. And I'm just going to add myself. We can see that here is my username. The way that we do this is we are going to do sudo usermod-ag docker and then the user. For this to take effect, I am going to restart Linux with sudo reboot. Once we've restarted, I am going to bring up my terminal again. And to run our test image, we are going to run docker run hello world. We can see that the image was run and it wasn't locally on our computer, so it pulled this from docker hub. And we can see that this message tells us that our installation appears to be working correctly. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, X, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone and happy coding.